Three years into construction of the Army's third digital air-ground integration range, Fort Knox is preparing for the next big phase of modernizing the old Yano tank range. Next month, we should achieve substantial completion and we'll be able to turn this site over to Fort Knox Range Branch for the next phase of the installation of the targetry and getting this range ready for troops to start training. At a projected cost of roughly $52 million, Drake Sullivan, the project engineer for the Army Corps of Engineers, said they have remained on task despite delays. Um, this has been a particularly challenging project for everyone involved. Everything from uh, clearing unexploded ordnance on the site to the sheer area of the range, which, which makes command and control uh, very hard for our contractor to, to maintain over all of his crews and all of his laborers. And, and there's just the variety of the, of the construction thing, of the different features of work from, from concrete to structural steel, targetry, miles and miles of, of trench for, for power cables and fiber optic cables, and, uh, and even some buildings that have been constructed uh, with HVAC. Mother Nature has been at the helm of many of those challenges. We've had some weather delays, especially in the last couple of months, and, uh, and also um, a, a few more months of delays in total due to all the challenges that, I, that I've mentioned already. Once completed, the Dagger Range will add a new level of capabilities to Fort Knox's extensive toolkit of training opportunities. So, uh, yeah, so the digital air ground integration range uh, that we're putting on top of the uh, existing multi-purpose range complex heavy, it will be used to uh, allow commanders to integrate indirect fires and, uh, and aviation assets into his uh, training uh, goals and objectives. So what we'll be able to do here is be able to do, you know, basically almost uh, every rotary wing airframe uh, to include uh, some fixed wing airframes uh, as part of the training. Rodney Manson, the installation range officer, said the next phase of construction will involve all the instrumentation, which when complete, will fully automate the training experience and tailor it to the needs of commanders. When aviators engage targets, they will react and the tower will capture the results. With the aviation piece of it, there's what we call the aerial weapon scoring system, which will allow us to uh, score area targets, uh, which is something that uh, they can't normally do at some ranges. Uh, and then once all that's done, they'll be able to compile it all together in after action review. Uh, so that way uh, commanders and, and soldiers can learn what they're doing wrong, what they're doing right, how to do things better uh, in, in the future. Final construction in this phase is focused on structures that will allow ground forces to engage pop-up targets behind mock buildings and call for aviation assets from within other structures. Manson said the final phase of construction, set to be completed by the start of 2024, is beginning to build anticipation among units that plan to train here. Fort Knox is also anticipating the completion. We're pretty excited about it. Uh, we've actually already have some of the instrumentation on the ground uh, from the vendor that's going to do the installation. Uh, I know that we already have units from Fort Campbell that's uh, already talking to us about uh, you know, when the range will be opened up so they can use it for their training. Uh, so, yeah, so we're very excited about, uh, about the construction to be completed and the instrumentation uh, phase start. Reporting for Fort Knox News, I'm Eric Pilgrim.